Welcome to Vietnam. I've been here for a week now, came to Hanoi and uh, was doing a little bit of street photography in Hanoi and right now I've ended up in the rice fields around or south of Sapa. So there's a few things that have been going on. So I've been to places like Halong Bay to Ninh Binh and a few other places. So it's the first time really in a week that I've had to vlog. So what's going to happen to all of these images and will there ever be a tour that I'll organise to Vietnam? Well, of course there is. That's why I'm here. I'm actually working on behalf of a company called Xiao or Chiao Travel that are based here in Vietnam. So I must give them a massive thank you for sponsoring me to come out here to Vietnam. At the moment, I have a, a driver with me, a Vietnamese driver who's been driving me around and he's been teaching me a little bit of, uh, a bit of Vietnamese. So, cảm ơn. Yeah. So, uh, I have about half a dozen words, but they're kind of enough at times. So, I've uh, been getting some pictures. Is this a sunset location that I'd bring people to? It is, you have to watch it because the sun goes behind the hill at a certain time of the day. But uh, I've been somewhere else and I've met another photographer from Slovakia. He's been kind enough Hi to, uh, probably can't see him on camera. He's been kind enough to show me where exactly this place was. <laughs> <laughs> so he's been kind enough to show me where this place was, as he found it earlier on. As I met somebody else who said to me, it's not here, it's actually further north. So. Unfortunate for him, I did actually find this place, but uh, the other great thing about Vietnam is the people photography. So there's actually a lot of indigenous people in this area and I've been getting a lot of uh, what you would call environmental portraits, those people working away, doing their thing. So is Vietnam wonderful? It is. And just one last thing before, it, there might be a next segment, I don't know yet, but uh, I met a, a Vietnamese girl at uh, a viewpoint I was at earlier and she said to me, a lot of people complaining about Vietnam saying people are not necessarily friendly, customer service isn't great. Rubbish. I have not come across anybody yet in this country that has been unfriendly, unhelpful. Everybody I've met here has been really helpful and just an amazing, amazing country. So I'll be flicking up some B-roll and images in between all this wittering on. But uh, until the next segment, uh, let's carry on working here in Vietnam because Hoi An is coming up very soon, a place I've wanted to be going to for quite a long time. On to the next bit. Welcome to the bustling city of Hoi An in central Vietnam. I've been here now for I think about two days or so. This place is an absolute gold mine for photographers. There's markets full of colour people with absolutely amazing faces, old buildings, architecture, it's a wonderful place to be. I'm really sorry I haven't had much time to vlog and show you a lot of what it is that I'm doing, but what I have been doing is actually uh, yesterday meeting uh, some traditional fishermen, capturing what it is that they do, and uh, I actually set up another shot away from the tourist place, actually trying to get something a little bit different, something I've seen but never quite sure where it is, but my guide helped me create the shot that I was after. It's just a shame I couldn't show you what it is that I was doing. In any case, what I'm going to do is just wrap up and show you basically here in Hoi An what it is that I'm doing and then I'll conclude the vlog. So probably a short vlog, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy some of the images that I've done here in, in Vietnam. So what am I up to here in Hoi An? Well, you can see this is uh, the riverfront here and over there is one of the classic shots of the city of Hoi An. So I've got my long lens on, 100 to 400, looking over there and what I'm trying to do is capture the, uh, the morning life. I'm waiting for somebody in the uh, traditional hat to go past on a bicycle. And I've got one or two people, but uh, because it's such a, an iconic place, people keep stopping in front of the building, so I'm having to be patient. At the moment it's 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, actually sunrise, sunset here is pretty much same time most days. I'm just going to be careful because there's somebody going past that I actually want in my shots. Just there. So I have my photo. So you might be able to see that lady just cycled past in the traditional Vietnamese hat. I was told what it's called, but can't remember offhand. But, um, but there you go. That's kind of what it is that I'm doing here. I've had a, a good look around the city trying to find things and um, just going from there really. So I just conclude the vlog, tell you what's going to be happening of all the images from here and uh, what's coming up next.
It is uh, starting to get a bit hot here in the morning already. It's probably about 30. And as you can see, I do have my own traditional Vietnamese hat. Why it's extremely practical in this place. You don't really need to put your sunglasses on, but it helps protect you from the sun, certainly on the back of your neck as well when you're walking around this place. So in any case, um, what's going on with all of this imagery? Well, in about a year's time, I should be coming back here, running a photography workshop. I've been working with somebody called Xiao Travel, who are my fixer here and my sponsor. They've brought me here to Vietnam to capture daily life. So um, from there, we're going to be putting together a photography tour of uh, around Hoi An, Hanoi, up in the northern part, around some places. Not necessarily a lot of tourists go, um, but um, you'll see from some of the imagery that's going to be in this vlog and has been in this vlog what's been going on and the type of thing you could expect. Certainly this place is both landscape and a lot of travel portraiture. I've been concentrating I probably I guess more on the travel portraiture when I've been here just because it's such a, a gold mine for that kind of stuff. But in any case hopefully you've enjoyed what it is that I've been doing. Sorry it's probably the shortest one of my shorter vlogs but in any case see you next time maybe in Romania and Moldova. Until then take care of yourselves and see you soon.